Okay, Hiram here. A couple of weeks ago, I was doing some boil tests on this Survival EDC Ultralight Titanium Alcohol Stove. What a mouthful. That I bought on eBay. It's basically a cheap knockoff of the Evernew Titanium Stove, which in itself is pretty much a knockoff of the Mini Trangia Burner. But I was doing tests on this two weeks ago, and then if you've been following my stuff, you know that my computer got a virus in it, and I got locked up for a couple of weeks until I got a new computer. But I still had one more test to do on this. I had been testing this with two milliliters, no, two fluid ounces, 60 milliliters of methanol in here with two or three milliliters of alcohol in a primer pan. The one test I still have to do is using one fluid ounce of methanol, just like I do in most tests. And out of that, I take one milliliter of methanol and put that in the primer pan. This is with the pot sitting on top of the burner. I got a couple of comments from uh, the last videos that I thought I'd cover a little bit here. Jimmy... Uh, Pants, P-A-U-T-Z, I'm sorry, commented, too bad you can't screw it on a cap for this one. With the burnout times like that, you could conserve a lot of fuel. I think what Jimmy's talking about is the screw cap that you have on the Trangia, that you can screw this off, and you can save some alcohol in here. Although now it seems like Trangia is saying, don't do that, but... That's what I've always done with this nice sealable cap on here with the O-ring inside. I usually keep alcohol inside this. Not a whole lot, but some. But what Jimmy's saying, it would be nice if this had a cap, which is missing. But then I got another comment from Drunken Shooter, where Drunken, Drunken Shooter suggested without the fiberglass in it, it would be easier to pour out any unused fuel left in the stove after use. This is true. This is very true. The one big difference between the knockoff of the knockoff is this has, I think, fiberglass wicking on the inside. So when you put alcohol down in here, the wick wicks it up to the jets. It looks like either I've got a bum one or they just don't do it. There's no wicking in here, which is one of the things that's changing some of the times. But... Oops, wrong one. This is the one. This is the Evernew. This one has the wicking. This is the knockoff of the knockoff that does not have wicking. So what Drunken Shooter is saying is pretty cool. If you put alcohol in here, then no, I'm just going to pour it back into a shot glass, but you could pour this into um, a little bottle and save that for priming. I always save, whatever I pour out, I save that for priming in some little bottle. But because there's no wicking in here, I don't know, I hope you can see this on the camera, you can pour it out of these lower holes. If you just tilt it so that it comes out of this, you can pretty much aim it. Now I'm doing it a little high so you can see it. I missed a couple of drops there. But... I wouldn't do it, th do it this high, but I'm just doing it so you can see it. So you've got most of the alcohol out of here. What you could do is then burn it dry. The titanium seems to hold that pretty good. Burn that dry, and then you can put it away, and you've saved whatever the leftover alcohol was for priming other, other tests or other jobs. So let me get some water prepped, get some alcohol in here, and then I'll be right back for a test. Okay, so I've got my water prepped. I've got 30 milliliters of methanol in the burner. And what I did was I took one milliliter out of that and put it in the primer pan. Uh, did I just say two cups of water setting at 60 degrees? Let's light this. Okay, there goes the primer. There goes the timer. Now the other times I did uh, two fluid ounces or 60 milliliters of methanol 
and maybe two, I think the other one was two, millilit two milliliters of uh, primer. But I'm trying to put this down closer to what would be on a regular burn. Okay, I can hear the alcohol making noises. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Sounds like it should be making vapor. Hopefully the... Let's, there we go. So less than a minute with a little bit of waving. And let's see how long it takes and how long it takes and if this will get two cups of water to a boil. We are now three minutes into the test, which is actually two minutes into the test. It took about one minute for the primer pan to run out. And at that mark we are about 107 degrees Fahrenheit. For a little bit there when the primer went out, the flames got really small until it started building up again. But, uh, I don't know, might make it. In the winter or in wind, you definitely need a windscreen around this. Um, because like I said, when the primer went out, the flames kind of dived down. But, let's see if this will bring it to a boil. There we have 210. Two eleven. Come on. Two twelve at eleven forty one. Okay, and let's see how long it takes for this to run out. Okay, there we're going. Going. Now it's a race to see if the flames... Okay, it already dropped, so let's say 1927 for run out. Remember before I said either the flames go out, which they've gone out, or it, the temperature drops. And at about 1927 it dropped a degree down to 211. Okay, so that was mind-boggling. Let me take this off. That was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Again, it was uh, one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters of methanol in here. And what I did was I took out of that 30, 30 milliliters was one milliliter to put in the primer pan and from there it got to boiling in 11 minutes 41 seconds and then ran for 19, 20, 19 minutes 27 seconds wow so you definitely have disinfected water but it looks like it would be conceivable if you were just warming something up like soup or something maybe you could just put a uh, half of a fluid ounce, 15 milliliters in here with maybe one milliliter in the uh, primer pan and get the stuff warm. Wow. Did not expect that. Okay, so hopefully this takes care of all the tests on this Survival EDC Ultralight Alcohol Stove. Remember, that's the one. It's a knockoff of the Evernew burner, Evernew stove. And this, with the pot on top of the burner, was what a lot of people call the simmer mode. I don't know if it's really simmer because it does indeed bring it up to a boil, but it is at a lower flame. Okay, so that's that. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.